streets of Boston. All right, we're gonna go. Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is all about my trip to Boston this fall. We start off the trip by going to Boston Commons, which is a beautiful park. It has lots of statues of famous historical figures and also some ducks that relate to Make Way for Ducklings. It's a really cute children's book. Boston Commons was filled with beautiful trees and scenery, especially since it was fall. It was my first time seeing fall leaves as a Floridian native. Also, shout out to Osmar for being my photographer the entire week. From Boston Commons, we continued on the Freedom Trail Path, which connects 16 historical uh, locations, one of which is Paul Revere's house. Paul Revere was a really cool dude. He did a lot of different things, but he's most well known for his midnight ride alongside some other riders, where they warned that the British were coming, one if by land, two if by sea, and he hung those lanterns in the Old North Church. Um, to let the Boston community know that the British were coming. And so we checked out his house as well as the Old North Church where he hung the lanterns. Also on the Freedom Trail was where we ate for dinner that night, um, which was Chipotle. It may seem kind of sad to eat at a chain restaurant on vacation, but technically it's a historical site um, and was once home to a really large publishing company. On day two, we went to the New England Aquarium, which was actually really awesome. They had seals, sea lions, stingrays, penguins. The penguins were absolutely adorable and I could watch them for hours. And they also had, as I say, everyone from the cast of Finding Nemo. I saw Crush the Turtle, Little Nemo, Dory. They were all there and they were all so cute and so cool. After the aquarium, we went to Starbucks. You're so happy? I got hot chocolate. I got donuts. <laughs> I'm a grumpy boy right now. <laughs> Listen, I know what I am. I don't deny it. But I'm hungry and I didn't get any hot chocolate. I'm sorry. It's okay, take your time. to the um, Museum of Contemporary Art. We ran into a cornhole yard game area and so that was really fun to do um, because we were in a rush to see everything. Boston had the best food. Um, as they're known for seafood, obviously, I had a lot of that. Boston cream pies, all of the things. It was really good all the time. And then the next day we went to the public library, um, which is kind of a funny story. I accidentally made us walk miles to a public library that was really sad looking, especially in comparison to this beautiful piece of art. The Boston Public Library also had um, a cafe connected to it where they were filming a like good morning news show, so that was pretty cool. I was just overwhelmed by how pretty the architecture was. Like I was completely drooling over the buildings everywhere that we went. There was nowhere that was like ugly. Speaking of not ugly, we took a beautiful nature walk and ended up at Fenway Park. And so that was really cool to see. We also, I think, stopped by Target on our way to um, another museum, which I think was my favorite part of the trip. So the Museum of Fine Arts is home to so many amazing pieces. It was so large, we didn't get through it all um, while we were there, but I did get to see so many artworks that I recognized from like my textbooks in high school and college like Salvador Dali, um, Monet, Van Gogh, like I was absolutely amazing. And of course, we got to see our good friend Paul Revere as well as 
our favorite George Washington from the museum. Um, we freshened up and ended up at TC Burger for dinner, which we heard a lot of good things about and it was definitely tasty. From there, we went to the Celtics game. Going to the Celtics game was pretty much our primary purpose for going to Boston in the first place. Osmar is a really big Celtics fan and I love seeing sporting events. So it was a win-win for us both and the Celtics won as well. So we love to see that and it was really fun. The next day was our final day in Boston and before our flight left, we went to the Quincy Market, another famous place. Um, and I think it's on the historical trail as well, the Freedom Trail. Um, they had really cool shops and restaurants and I went into a Christmas in Boston store where I found an adorable ornament. If I ever travel somewhere, I like to collect an ornament with me as my souvenir and that's kind of my way of seeing all the places I've been. So. I finally get to hang up my ornament on my Christmas tree and wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.